Hello? Are you there? Hello? Are you all still here? Or those of you that are, rather. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to Game Overboards. Um, thank you to everybody who's been here. We're going to um, do a thing that we're going to do every week. We're going to do a little bit of Marvel Legendary, uh, which can be played cooperatively. I'm, and I'm, I'm sort of playing through the various schemes in it solo. Uh, so I'm going to endeavour to get that sorted so that we can uh, share it with you now. That's not worked. Right, hang on. Uh, it'll be this one. Click. There we are. That's woke it up. Bosh. So, the way this game works... I'll do this each week. Hello, Burton Coggles. Oh, yeah, let's say hello first, actually, because I don't get to talk to you when this gets it. Who's here? Let me know you're here. And thank you to everybody who's donated uh, to the ridiculous uh, album disaster that will be happening. Uh, you uh, you could just uh, call it... Uh, any, you leave it. It's fine, Misky. You'll call it anything. Uh, I don't mind, but hello, Misky. Hello, Tessa. Hello, Cheesy Dancing. Hello, Lanky Sai. Hello, FMZ. Hello, Lucky Lady. Hello, Dr. Electro. I sound healthier. Yeah, I was really, really bad last night on the uh, quiz, uh, but I think that might have been the last final throws of it. Uh, hey, music cellist there. Hello, Tom Sawyer. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, so uh, what we're going to do, we're only going to do one go this today because um, we're having a little party for my kids. Uh, so I need to get ready a little bit quicker. So we're just going to play one game of Marvel Legendary and then we'll um, uh, call it a day. But let me... No, wrong button. Unbelievable. Let me show you how the game works. In this game, some villains invade the city here, working through the sewers. Oh, hang on, sorry. The villains here. You getting that now? The villains invade the city, starting in the sewers, then moving through to the bank, rooftop streets and bridge, and potentially escape. And I have to battle them by assembling a team of heroes that I buy from the headquarters. So I have a, I have a starting deck. Uh, with some relatively weak shield agents and officers, which I then use to attack and improve my hand to get better people to help me ultimately defeat a mastermind who is trying to complete an evil scheme. I might get wounds along the way, and I might rescue bystanders, but that is basically all the main things. And what I'm now going to do is set up the one that we're doing today. We're doing the third one from the uh, basic... Uh, set the starter set if you like it's called midtown bank robbery so let's find it there it is that's the one that we're doing uh, this is a tabletop simulator for anybody who is wondering uh, although i do have every card ever for this game apart from a stan lee one because that's expensive i've got every card apart from one rare stan lee card because that would be insane um so that's that. The ma the mastermind that we're going to be doing this time is Doctor Doom. Uh, wherever you are, where are you? There's Doctor Doom. So I'll pop them over on the mastermind spot. Uh, and they are going to be being helped by the Masters of Evil. You can find them. Hello? No. Well, I've moved that out of the way. My bad. Masters of Evil? Emissaries of Evil? No. There we are. Masters of Evil. So the Masters of Evil are going to be some of the villains. We're also going to have three Doombot Legions helping. Have you checked your spam, Tesla? Is it possible it's gone into spam? I realise you probably thought of that, but... Uh... Just trying to help as best I can. There we go. So we get three Doombot Legions. They're going to help. And now we need to set up the other bits that we always set up. So. We've got Shield Officers there as an alternative to buy. We've got the Wounds of the Bystanders decks ready. And we take one Bystander card. And pop it on that deck. Uh, we put one Master Strike in the solo version of the game. Which triggers something that the baddie does. We also uh, need to put scheme twists in as per the scheme. So let's now find out what our scheme is today. It is Midtown Bank Robbery. We need eight twists. Oh, and 12 total bystanders in the villain deck. And so each villain gets plus one attack that each bystander here has captured. And every time a scheme twist turns up, any villain in the bank captures two bystanders. And you then play the top card of the villain deck. Okay. So basically bystanders are going to make people stronger when they've been kidnapped by the baddies. So we need to do another 11 of these. Cut. 
Uh, uh, I think I think I do it that way, don't I? And then it's eleven on the top. That's how we do it. Yeah, there we go. Whoop. Oh, hang on, that's not done it. Come here. Oh, that's one of them. Ten. Are they locked? There we go. Good. That's twelve of those now. Uh, we also need the scheme twist, don't we? And we said eight, didn't we? So I'll have eight of those, please. Whoop. So that is our villain deck. So what I do now is pick them all up, give them a shuffle, turn them over, pop them in the place, and we are ready to go with our villain deck. So now the last thing we need to do is assemble the heroes for this scheme. And today, we're going to be having Deadpool, who I love, Emma Frost, and Gambit. So that is that set. Emma Frost. Ooh. And Gambit. Where's Gambit? There he is. Bosh. That's a 29. I've only pulled one of them. What have I missed? Emma Frost. I didn't grab all of money, took one. There we go. So that is a bit bigger. Boop, 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 boop. Give him a shuffle. Wang him over. Plop him on the pile. So I think that's it. So Doctor Doom is trying to do a Midtown Bank robbery. He's being helped by the Masters of Evil and some Doombot legions. Uh, attempting to defeat him is Deadpool, Emma Frost, and Gambit. That's me. Make sense? Let's see. So I start off with a starter deck here, which is just some rubbish cards. Come here. Zoop. But over time, as you will see, they get better. Give them a shuffle. Now we're ready to set up the boards. By putting five heroes in the HQ. Well, they're shuffled well, aren't they? Did I shuffle them? I thought I did. Oh, hang on. That's not right. I mean, that's ridiculous, isn't it? She shuffled them again. They're definitely shuffled, but uh, I'm not happy with that. So I'm going to shuffle them again. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Going to make them a bit bigger as well. I reckon I can make them a bit bigger. Right, let's see if we've got a bit more variety now. Deadpool. Deadpool. Literally the same card. Emma Frost. Emma Frost. Fine. And Deadpool, the same one again. I give up. Uh, right. So the way a go starts is we take a villain. And it's a bystander. They've got nowhere to go. So they're going to be kidnapped by the mastermind. So the first time I fight the mastermind, uh, I will also rescue a bystander. The reason that's important, as you can see, the little red circle on the right side of that card, a bystander is worth one victory point because we get a score as well. But to attack Dr. Doom, who would give me five victory points, I have to have at least nine attack in my hand. That is how it works. So we won't be able to do that yet. There's no one to fight. So actually, we're just hoping that we get lots of shopping here to buy some cards. We've got two there. Three. Four. One. And two. So good. So the attack we can't do anything with because there's nothing we can afford to attack. But five shopping is not too shabby. So we could either buy one of these Deadpool cards for three, which will give me two shopping and a villain of my choice captures a bystander that I can then rescue. I could have that one, which is one shopping and I get to draw a seventh card. Or I could have two attack off of Emma Frost. And I'd quite like some attack. Early doors. So I'm going to take that for four. Replace it. And that is the end of our go. That's how it works. And the idea is to defeat the Mastermind four times before we run out of villain cards or hero cards. Let's see if a villain turns up in the city this time. No, it's another bystander. So the Mastermind now has two. The Scheme Twist... Each villain gets plus one for each bystander it has. Masterminds don't count as uh, villains, thankfully. Um, villains is the ones that are on here. So he's not 11 already. Obviously, that would be terrifying if he was. Hey, Flibble. All good. How are you? So our next hand is going to be a bit more fighty. It's a shame because we've got no one to fight. Uh, but we have still got three shopping. So we can either get the one shopping and draw a card or the two and a villain capturing a bystander. I think I'd rather draw an extra card than have bigger hands. So I'm going to buy Emma for three. Plop her in there. 
Have we got K-Bink or anybody else familiar with this today to uh, help people out in the chat if they're not familiar with the game? I'm not assuming you would be there, Kirsty, but uh, if you are, it'd be good to know. Scheme Twist, right. Scheme Twist. Uh, any villain in the bank gets uh, captures two bystanders. So there isn't one in the bank, thankfully. And then we play the top card of the villain deck. So thankfully we didn't make anybody stronger. Uh, and that bystander is a third one for Doctor Doom. All right. Good choice, boss. Thanks, K Bink. Posted just as you mentioned me. Amazing. Yep, don't forget you've got your cursed emotes as well. Pooping hype in the chat. Exactly so. Uh, it's not only single player flippable, you can play collaboratively with other people. Um, but it can be played solo. If it's played collaboratively, you take it in turns to deal a hand and attempt a battle. And those victory points. <coughs> excuse me. If you do manage to collectively, as a team, defeat the. Um, mastermind four times. You then see who got the most victory points, and that person is effectively the best hero. Why not play with K-Bink? I'd love to if she wants to. K-Bink's the one that introduced me to the game in the first place. You are always welcome here, K-Bink. Uh, the only worry is that she'd do better than me, and then I'd have to li live with that, and that'd be a shame. I sure would. Yes, mate. Let's have a chat about that offline then and get you on it. I'd love that. I would love that very much. Um... Right, we've got four shopping. I'm going to have that red one again for the two attack. Because it's also got the combo. You can play the top card of the villain deck. And if you do, you get plus two attack. So I'm going to immediately take that to get stronger. And that is all we can do on this go. Boop. I see that. Don't want to seem to be so sad because KB might destroy him. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, it's another bystander. Well, Doctor Doom's all right for bystanders, isn't he? Unfortunately, there's no one to attack, which is a bit of a pickle. Uh, none of the baddies seem to be coming through, which is somewhat frustrating. Okay, there's Emma. And there's the shopping. So, we're going to play this one first and draw, an, and draw a card. It's another one of those. So, what that means is we've got three attack, and we can't do anything with that because there's no one to attack on the board. But we have got one, two, three, four, five shopping. I would also love that and to crush you with victory points. Sure. Thanks, mate. That's the boost I needed. Uh, it's nice to feel supported, isn't it? Um, I'm going to go on the draw a card again just to try to burn cards through. So I'm going to buy that for three. And I'm going to see if I pull a two that I can buy as well. Yeah, and we can have that for two. So that's Gambit, who's finally turned up. Where have you been? Draw two cards and put a card from your hand on top of your deck. Okay. So we'll buy that as well. That's me five shopping. We can't do anything with the attack. So that is the end of that go as well. Not much variety in these cards, is there? You play the hand you dealt. You literally play the hand you dealt. Let's um, see if a villain's turned up yet. No, nope, it's another bystander. I'm going to give these another shuffle as well. Come on. Uh, oh, wrong button. Whoop. Oh, or is there only one card left? There's only one card left. Well, that's me first one then. Uh, two, three, four, five, six. We get to draw two more cards because of those blues. So that's another shopping there and another shopping. So we've got money. Unfortunately, all of these in the shop are all threes. So there's not, there's not, there's no huge cards. We've got six shopping there. And we're not really getting the benefit. You shuffle with R instead of mouse. I quite like shaking them. I'll do the shuffling when we play. Fair enough, Kirsty. Fair enough. I'm sure you'll do it much better than I did in this digital game. I'm going to take another one of these blues for combos. Uh, for three. Uh, ah, see, look, there's an Emma that's cost five. I'd have much rather add that, but I can't afford that now. Um, but we can afford one of these Deadpools, so we'll have a Deadpool as well. There's the other one. Right, is that go? Okay, these cards are the Pumoji version. I'm afraid I don't think there are Pumo Pumoji cards in here. Another fucking bystander. Ridiculous. Well, they're not helping Doctor Doom. So in a way, it's, that's good. But um, it's a bit weird, isn't it? We had this last week as well, the shuffle being a bit off, didn't we? Uh, let me get these. Discard pile out of the way. Right. Well, we've got some good money here. Well, not good money. Uh, ignore the money. I mean, by money, I actually meant these. We're going to play this red one first because it doesn't need anything preceding it. 
and draw two cards, then put a card from my hand on top of the deck. So we get one of them and one of them. Uh, I will put the attack back on because there's... Oh, hang on. Or will I? Because we can actually go for Doctor Doom here. If I draw the top card from the villain deck, that gets plus two. So I'm going to do that. Oh, that's the combo though, isn't it? Oh, I don't think we can. Hang on. We've got that, which is spent. And we've got to put one back on. We've got one, two. Ah, yes, because that's already a red one. We can play this one and it gets its combo. If we play this, we get plus two. Very good. Uh, so that gives us two, four, five, six. That's eight, which isn't enough for Doctor Doom. But if we play the extra villain deck card, we get plus two. So we've now got ten attack, which means we can go for Doctor Doom. We'll just check who turned up. It is Melter from the Masters of Evil. Uh, each player, when we fight him, each player reveals our top card and either KO it or put it back, which is fine. That's no biggie. But we're not going to fight them. We're going to fight Doctor Doom. And because we've got to put a card back, we'll put that one back on the top. That's that card finished. That card, that card, and that card. And now we're going to have a look at the top Doctor Doom fight card. And it says, take another turn after this one, which is good news because four indeed, K Bink, uh, because um, we're going to get to have another go without pulling anything else into the city. So we've defeated Doctor Doom. We've got three shopping. So we can either have another one of these blues that draws a card for one shopping, or a villain of your choice captures a bystander. And I think I'll take the Deadpool for the potential microchip combo now, because we got two of them. We might be glad of that. So that is that go finished. Uh, there's Gambit with another one of those draw two cards. We don't need to turn a villain deck card because of the conditions that Doctor Doom had. So instead, we've got another six cards. One, two. Shuffle our discards and take another four. Nice. Oh, it's good. Three. Here we go. Five and six. So to play that, a villain of your choice captures a bystander. So we're going to give another bystander to Melter. That's that one spent. Although we can still spend the money, can't we? So we've got four shopping when we want it. This one gives us to, allows us to draw two cards, then put a card back. So we get that and that. So do we want five shopping? Yeah, okay. So we're going to want five shopping to buy that really cool Emma card for three attack. So we do that, which means the card we're going to put back is an attack card we can't actually do enough with it we've got one two three but she will have five if we get the top card but there's no point doing that because melter at the moment because the scheme twist says bystanders uh, give villains plus one he's already on seven because he's got two bystanders underneath him does that make sense i hope it does it takes five attack to beat melter the scheme twist says for each bystander he's kidnapped, it's plus one. There are one, two bystanders, so five plus two is seven. So there's no value in doing this. So we won't bother doing it because we don't want to fill the city. It's bad to fill the city. Fill, fill, fill. Uh, let's replace that instead. Call that a date. And now we'll have our next go. Right, next. It's a scheme twist. So when we get a scheme twist, we have to give any villain in the bank, and there isn't one, they catch two bystanders, but then we also play the top card of the villain deck. This is another scheme twist. So two for the bank, but there's no one there. So we draw the next one, and it is a bystander. So this arsehole now takes eight attack. You keep thinking she's here. Keep thinking who's here, uh, Miski. Uh, right, here we go. One... Emma, oh right, two, that's a good one, shopping, three, more shopping and draw a card, four, shopping, five, and shopping, so this one let's just draw a card, and that one let's just draw another card, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six shopping, so we can have another Emma Frost for five, and we will, attack wise, we can't do any damage because we've just got the, the three, so that's the end of that. But we are buying some nice stronger cards. And if they, if they come up together, we'll be in good shape. 
Saying down three times a stream, she'll shut up with a filth. Yeah, no doubt. There we go. It's another, so it's another one of those Emma Frost cards. You go. Turn this over. Another bystander. I mean, he's basically the same as Doctor Doom now. So there's just no way we're going to um, be targeting him. Just, I hope he doesn't move all the way through. He's now nine attack points to fight Melter rather than fight the Mastermind the same. That's absurd. But we'll ignore that and crack on. It's looking like we do some good shopping again. Which is nice, but I'd rather be making a dent in Doctor Doom. Although I do feel like uh, we're doing pretty well here. Okay, right. So, a villain of your choice captures a bystander. So, Melter is now 10. Melter is now stronger than Doctor Doom. Absolutely horrific. Where are all the villains? Um, three... For we draw a card with that Emma Frost card, so we get an extra cards. It's another shopping one. We've got one, two, three, four attack. So it could be six if we turned another villain over, but there's no point because six isn't enough to attack him or him. So we're just going shopping for five down here. So we'll have another one of those three attacks. Oh, we just got to hope those start to come up eventually. We can actually do some damage. Oops. Put this over. It's another Emma Frost with attack. <coughs> Emma Frost really is the one who's going to be um, doing this for us, isn't it? Uh, who have we got? Right, finally, we've got a second villain. So that means that Melter moves into the bank. A new villain moves into the sewers. And that new villain is Ultron. Yes, please. Ultron's worth plus one um, victory point for each microchip hero you have among all your cards at the end of the game. There's going to be loads of victory points there. If he escapes, everyone with a microchip hero gains a wound. Or reveals a hero. With a microchip or gains a wound. Oh, oh, what K Bink? Uh, let's games one, two, three, four, five, six, and we draw the card for that one. Seven, and we also draw two cards and then put one back for that one. One, two. <laughs> And then we uh, draw another card from that. Good Lord. Uh, so I've got to discard one of these. We've got three, four, five attack, which tediously isn't even enough to get Ultron before he takes a... Um, takes a bystander. So I'm going to put her back and we'll have her next time and see if we get a combo and do better. Um, this one means we've got to give a villain a bystander and I'm actually so overwhelmed by uh, oh the victory point potential with Ultron fair enough I understand it and I respect it I'm going to just keep giving uh, Melter oops the um, bystanders because I've no intention of fighting him and I'd rather leave all the other ones a little bit weaker so we're going to do that we can't use the attack points we've used him We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shopping. So I'll have Emma's attack card again for four. Oh, there's a Deadpool fighty one there. Plus one for each other hero with an odd numbered coin. All right. Oh, hello. Did I manage that? Space resets, apparently. So we've got three more to spend. I quite fancy Gambit because drawing two cards is and isn't it? It's like a... It pulls through and it's got the red combo at the top. So I'm going to do that for two. I feel like, I feel like I'm onto a thing with the uh, with the reds here. I wonder if Steve will notice what. What's the matter, Agent Mulder? What have you done? What? What's happening in the chat? What's going on? I'm scared. Uh, that's going to my go. Turn it over. Right, Doombot Legion. They're actually fireball. So finally we've got something we can fight. Because they only take three attack points. Don't tell him. Don't tell you what. What? So there's Emma that we put back. There's two of her for six. That's good. Ah, and then we go. So unfortunately, I don't get the combo on the red. But we have got three, six, eight. So I can't go for him for nine, annoyingly. But I can... Go for Ultron for six, and he get, and then I get those plus one victory points at the end. So we'll do him for six. 
Also, he was in the bank, which is where the scheme twist gives two villains. Any villain in the bank captures two by Santa, so it's good to keep the bank empty. Because it's the Midtown Bank robbery scheme. I'm thick. Uh, so that was six. We can't do anything with the other two. Shopping for three. Ooh, it's a different gambit there. Fill the top card, discard it or put it back. So that gives us a chance to burn off a rubbish one and it's two shopping. Whereas that one just draws the card and has one shopping. And I don't feel like the deck's been so expensive. I care. So I'm going to take that for three. That'll do me. That rhymed. Like the songs on my album. Don't forget to donate so that I can humiliate myself on the internet. You are thick, but your tactics are sound. Cheers, K-Bink. That's, um, that's really nice of you. Here we go. It's a new one. It's another Master of Evil. It's Whirlwind. If you fight Whirlwind on the rooftops or bridge, you have to knock out two of your heroes, which means they're permanently gone from your hand. Not thick. Thank you, Miski. One, two. Come on, let's have some attack. Three, yes. Four, no. Five, but we draw an extra card. Six, that's looking good. Here's the extra cards. It's a crappy shopping one. All right. So we've got three, four, five, six, seven bollocks. Uh, so we can't go for Doctor Doom, and we haven't got the red combo to get nine. So with seven, we can take out Whirlwind and the Doom Bot. So that's pretty good. So let's do fight this one. Look at the top two cards of your deck. KO one of them and put the other back. So I'm going to fight him for three. So here's the top two cards. KO one and put the other back. So I'm going to KO that. Put the other one back. And then <coughs> here, if I fight Whirlwind on the rooftops or bridge, I KO two of my heroes. So I'm going to KO those two shopping ones because that'll actually make my deck stronger. And that is a win against Whirlwind. That concludes that hand. That was very nice. Good city tidy up. Nice deck thinning, boss. Thank you, K-Bink. K-Bink gets it. Does anybody else play this in the chat? Or is this essentially a stream just for me and Kirsty, and you're all also here? Which is fine. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we get to draw two more cards for those. One, two. This one lets me draw two cards and then put a card back. So one, hello, two, this is games, isn't it? This is loads of stuff. Alex finally bought it the other day, him and just played it, he loves it, great. Well, we wasn't on the bridge or rooftops. Ah, oh, that's the point, was he in the sewers? Okay, I've got to have those two back then, haven't I? Well spotted, thank you. Easily distracted. Bad deck thinning, and me and K-Bink both mix that, so maybe we're both thick. Just stream for Steve, Kirsty, Burton, Lee, Flibble Poos, everyone, and the rest of us are also here. Yeah. Cheating's fine. Yeah, I agree. Uh, let's count up our shopping first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But I've got to put one back because of that. I need five for that Deadpool, which I definitely want. So there isn't anything for two. So I will put one of the shoppings back. Uh, I'll put that one back. I also do need to give a, that villain a bystander. For it coming up actually no i've not played it so we don't we don't need to do that so that's them all spent now let's see if we can do enough damage i don't think we can no because he's going first that's two or four if i did pull another card and that's then three seven eight and he is currently he's got six bystanders so he's for 11 so eight is one short Really thought I'd got that. Fucking eight attack and we can't do anything. Try to work out the shopping part. Oh, allow me to explain, Dr. Electro. Um, see this card? It has one star, which means like that's one shopping point. The coins in the bottom right of these cards tell you how many it costs to buy them. So that one costs three to buy. That one costs four. That one costs three. That one costs three, etc. Don't cheat, but I support cheating wholeheartedly. I'm sure that's not true. Uh, that's me, fucked. 
One, two, three, four. I need to turn a baddie over as well. Five, six. And that's the start that goes. A scheme twist. No one's in the bank, thankfully. So we don't add two to that, but we do go again. No one's in the bank, but we go again. This is burning through our cards. Master strike. Okay. Each player with exactly six cards in hand reveals a microchip hero or puts two cards from their hand on top of their deck. Well, I'm not because this hand has forced me to draw a card. So we don't have to do that. So, nah, in your face, Dr. Doom. This game is a Marvel Legendary, uh, and I'm playing it on Tabletop Simulator, Cyrus Fear. I would heartily recommend it. It's wonderful. Do the other cards have stars? Um, all, oh, the villains don't. So, villains have an amount of points it takes to attack. So, it takes me five attack points to attack him. So, this card, for example, that I own, because it's one of the heroes, cost me five to buy, and it is worth three attack points to contribute towards that five. Does that make sense? Let me know if it does. I'm happy to keep explaining. So I've used that. I need to give two more bystanders to uh, that guy. Ridiculously. He's never going to die, is he? Uh, and that's those spent. This one lets me pull another two cards. One, two. Uh, and again, I think we've got the same problem again here. We've got to put one back. It's probably going to be her because four, five, six, seven, eight attack is no use to me. So we're going to put Emma back and hope she does better next time. Uh, and the attack, annoyingly, is worth nothing. Bugger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven shopping. We'll have a gambit two attack for four. And I'll take another one of these because it's shopping and an extra card. So it burns through your deck, doesn't it? We'll have that for three. Boink. Right. Fill up the hero deck. Take a new villain. It's a bystander. He's now got nine bystanders, which makes him 14 attack to defeat. Melter, he's strong. Uh, we go again. There's the first card. We knew it was there because we put a bat there. Now let's hope we get some really strong attack. See, my deck's quite big now. 27 cards in it. 28 cards in it. That's promising. Could do with another one of those reds, then I'd feel confident. Not yet. That means the villain captures a bystander, so he's even stronger. That's mental. Um, this one, let's just draw two more cards. One, two. That's more like it. We can do this now. And put one back. So we're going to put one of those back. Because we've got three, six, eight, nine. So that means we can fight Doctor Doom again. Choose one. Each other player draws a card or discards a card. Well, there are other players going to play solo. So that's nothing. But we have defeated Doctor Doom a second of four times. Well done, us. We've got three shopping. So we can treat ourselves to either that one to reveal the top card and discard it or put it back, or that one to do the villains and bystanders. Gambit is more helpful to us, so we will do that. Feeling all right about this. I think we're all right. Don't want to get cocky, but it doesn't feel like so much with that. How many villains left? We've still got 12 villains left and 20 heroes, so we're not at the end of the game yet. We've got 12 more goes at least. Four, five, six. Um, I just put a new villain in, don't I? It's a scheme twist. There's no one in the bank. We pull another one. Of course, the scheme twist burned through it quickly. I don't know. Got to have a crack at Melter at some point, right? Mate, he's literally 15 attack. It's impossible. Um, I realize, I'm sure you'd manage. Draw two cards. Yes, please. Yes, please. We've got to put one of them back eventually. See, annoyingly, that would give us eight attack again. So, if we're going to put one back, we'll put her back and just do the Doombot Legion for three. Uh, oh, hang on. Let's not let's not choose to do that yet. No, we have to. I've got to put that back and then fight this. So, we look at the top two cards. KO one and put the other back. Let's hope these aren't both good. Oh, shit. We've got to throw one of these away. 
Keep the red for the combos. We'll keep the straight three. Shit. I wouldn't have let him get that strong. I am good at the game. Sure. Absolute bullshit. Um, I'd rather have the guaranteed three. So I'm KOing that. But I'm livid about it. Shit. That Doombot just kicked my ass. They're all spent. We've got four shopping. Which isn't enough to buy that cool card. So we'll have the Gambit with two attack. And I will sulk. Um, oh, Christ, look at that. That's a sexy card. High stakes jackpot. Four attack and reveal the top card of your deck and get attack equal to its cost. I want to buy that, please. Villain deck. It's a bystander. So now I've got 11. So that's 16 attack to go for uh, Melter, which of course K-Bink would easily manage uh, using some sort of bullshit ray to defeat the truth. Please buy that ace up and defeat Melter with it. Understood. Understood. Right. Five. Six. Uh, reveal the top card of your... Oh, okay. Let's draw this first. Dunk. Uh, so I've done that. This one says reveal the top card. And if it's an X-Men hero, have it. It is. Yes, please. This one gives him yet another villain. Jesus Christ, Melter, calm down, you psychopath. Kidnapped everyone in the city. Uh, and this one gets plus one for each other hero with an odd-numbered coin that we play this turn. So, where does that leave us? Two attack. Three attack. Six attack. Eight attack. But actually, it's nine, ten, eleven, twelve attack in total. And it counts this card as well, so 13 attack. That isn't enough for that. Otherwise, I'd have gone for it, just to rub your face in it. 17 attack. But we can have a go at Doctor Doom. You may recruit a microchip or ranged hero from the HQ for free. He's not. That's annoying, isn't it? So it's one of these. I don't really want one of those. So no thanks. But I have beat him. Three times. So I've only got to defeat Doctor Doom once more. Got my face rubbed in, in it. I'm into it. Fair enough. Fair enough. No kink shaming. No K Bink kink shaming. Uh, just you want your face rubbed in it. You should have your face rubbed in it, K Bink. You deserve that at least. Uh, five shopping points. We can buy the cool Deadpool. So we fucking will. No Bink shaming. Uh, microchip. They've all got types of cards. So see in the top left of that card, it's got a little microchip card. So there's different types. So that one's got a microchip. Uh, that one's got an X-Men and a Mind icon. That one's got a red one that I can't remember what it is. But if you get two of them, that's a thing. So see, that one's got it as well. New villain is Baron Zemo. And we fight him for each of our Avenger heroes. We rescue a bystander. We've not really rescued any bystanders, have we? Gotcha. No worries, Dr. Electro. Do, do ask and uh, we'll let you know. Okay. There we go. Um, right, that's five of them. Flip this over. Hope for a good shuffle. Sixth card is a shit one, but we get to draw two more because of these. So it's like a nothing hand, doesn't it? One, two. This one gets me draw another two cards. Let's see if we can do better. Ugh, villain captures a bystander. That's good, though. So we'll give... Uh, the absolute psychopath Melter, yet another one. He's now 18 to attack on the rooftops. Um, we've got to put one of these back. So let's work out what we care about. That's three attack, six attack, seven attack. We only need six attack. So we could put this one back. So we will to save it because I'd rather have attack points next time that I need. We're going to attack him for six. And for each Avenger hero, we rescue a bystander. Don't think we've got any Avengers, have we? No. No Avengers. So we don't rescue any bystanders, but we did defeat him. That's them spent. That's you done. Then we've got two, three, four, five, six, seven shopping, which we know is excited. We're buying Gambit, a high stakes jackpot. Yes, fucking please. 
Oh yeah, Gambit hype in the chat. Scheme twist, there's no one in the bank. So we go again, and it's another Baron's Emo. Fine. Come on, I want all the attacks on this. We're going to finish this. No, we're not. This is crap, isn't it? Oh, God. That was a waste of time, wasn't it? Uh, this says you get plus one for each other hero with an odd-numbered coin. Oh, it's each other hero. I should have had one less last time, but you can cheat. Uh, so he's plus three, so it's three attacks. We've got no attack. Uh, and we're giving another bystander to Crazy Bollocks. G, legal ass, incredibly for group. Melter has had it. He really hasn't, K Bink. You seemingly don't understand the game at all. Um, so we've done that. I can't do anything with these attacks. So just bin those off, and we're going shopping for four, which is going to be that in the frost card, which is good because that's the one that I had to bin off before, isn't it? So at least we've replenished it. Replaced it, the one that we had to KO earlier. It's KP being thick, always. You can always assume she, she might not look like she's being thick, but she is. Nature finds a way. There's only six cards left up here now, so we're getting very near the end, unfortunately. Ultron again. Don't mind if I do. Surely this time our good cards are going to turn up. They have to. I feel like we've just not pulled them. That's a start. That's a, that's good as well. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, so... We get to draw two cards because of that one. One. Yes, please. Two. And another card with that one. Surely. Surely we're there. Spent that. We get the combo on this if we want it. Yeah, look. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have to draw this to do that, but that's fine. Because no one's escaped the city. And that's the nine that we needed, which means we're going to wallop this prick. Fight. When you draw a new hand of cards at the end of this turn, draw three extra cards. Well, I won't because I've won, mate. And that is a victory for Emma Frost, Gambit and Deadpool. That's games. We've done it again. We've never been defeated. I know I've only played three of these, but still. Now, we're going to total it up. See what our score was. Bam, ba da bam, 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 bam. But, 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 but. Oh, I didn't catch that many, did I? It's not going to be a great score. Um, What was the scoring? <coughs> Try to remember how we scored now. I need to get the manual out, don't I? I need to make a note of this in my text file. I'll do that after. Stay there. I'll get the actual manual from the actual game. For anybody who likes those sorts of things. Yeah. Yes, please. Let's, uh, let's let's consult the manual and see how many points we got. I'll make a note of this after the stream. But I don't need to go in there next time. Scoring. <laughs> right, so we get minus four for each bystander carried away. And there weren't any. Minus three for each scheme twist. And minus one. So it's going to be minus three for each scheme twist. And there were loads. So my worry is that's going to be worth more than we actually made. But we'll find out. One. Oh. I can't make that separate. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. So minus 21 for all the scheme trysts. But hopefully we got more than 21. Let's see. Four. So that was four for uh, Baron Zemo. Ah, hit, oh, hang on. Yeah, Ultron, we've got to cash up, haven't we? We'll do Ultron at the end. Four. Another two for Whirlwind. Six. 11. 16. 21. 26. 27. 28. So we are in pluses. But how much pluses uh, will be dependent on Ultron? He's worth at least two. And then plus one for each microchip hero. So let's see what we got. Let's take these over here and have a look at them. Let's say plus one. Yeah, okay. So no, 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 no. I'll zoom in so you can see them better. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Didn't really shop for that card. One! Still a point in it. 
We never got to use that. Gutted. Uh, two. Okay, so we got plus two. So we got another four. So, 32 minus 21 equals 11. We did it. We did it and got 11 points. Well done, everyone. Nine. Did I do, it? Did I do my maths wrong? It's 11. Amazing. Mul Can we get some uh, laughing at Mulder's? Because Mulder is all about maths and he just buggered up simple subtraction. Lol. Love you, Mulder. Um, that's it. Normally we do a second one, but um, I need to wrap up a bit early because I'm having a little party for my kid today. But um, here is the schedule. Uh, tomorrow night, we're doing the video game game show show where you can log in and play games against each other on Teams and me and another comedian, Matt Hyatt, will be competing against each other. Friday lunchtime, we'll do, I'm doing a solo stream. I'm not sure what I'm playing yet, but I'll be around Friday lunchtime. Sunday night is spooky games. Monday lunchtime is chill games. And then Tuesday night is our quiz night where you can all log in on Teams with everybody around the world. That is the end of the stream. I hope you've enjoyed the second episode of Game Overboard here on the internet. We can do a War Child raid. Absolutely. We will do that immediately. Please go and support a very good cause. Um, also, if you want me to perform my debut album, uh, which I wrote when I was young, uh, check out the donate link on here. Or the, uh, I can't remember what it is, the charity link on here. Great Legendary Inc. Thank you, K Pink. I learned it all from you uh, and then learn new things that made me actually good at it uh, i'm gonna go i love you all very much i will see you tomorrow night for the video game game show show bye